Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel PT, and for today what I have been needed is Devil May Cry 5. So, this game it is developed by Capcom, it's a big return from Capcom, it's Devil May Cry series developed by them, not like the last one which was developed by a different team. So this game it is using the RE engine, the same engine that was behind Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 2 Remake. It's the first time we are seeing this engine running on a little bit more open environments than Resident Evil. So I'm running the game with native resolution, I recommend you to use full screen instead of borderless, interwaisted rendered methods, all the settings pretty much on low settings, resolutions coming at 70%. And I'm using TAA as a form of the anti aliasing This should blur a little bit the image. So this is the minimum requirements for the game. It has for an i5 4460, a GTX 760, which is considerably more powerful, with 2 gigs of VRAM, and DirectX 11. So, what I have tried in this game so far, it was to try this game in DirectX 11. By default, the game starts at DirectX 12, but it seems that there were some issues with that. Uh, go to the description of this video, there is there some help to try to force you into DirectX 11, which performs better and without bugs. So, I've tested the, the game with the low settings and with the 70% of resolution scaling at the low. So the 70% I was able to get an experience above 30 frames per second, while with the low settings I was getting some drops from the 30s, so that's why I decided to go with 70% of resolution scaling. Despite the, game despite the gameplay runs above 30 frames per second, what happens really it is some cutscenes really perform really bad. I mean, they could perform at something like 15 frames per second, 20, uh, sometimes 30s, but some cutscenes really, really, really go really bad in this laptop. Although the good news it is that uh, at least the gameplay so far have been quite nice above 30 frames per second with no issues whatsoever. So if you were concerned about uh, if you could play this game or not, yes, you can play this game. Uh, with the low setting, 70% resolution scaling, interfaces, which looks really bad, but at least you can run above 30 frames per second with the exception of the cutscenes. So, I think that's all guys, uh, hope you've been enjoying the rest of the video, and uh, you can get this game, in fact I was forgetting about this, you can get this game for around 60 bucks on Steam, it is quite expensive, but if you want to get a cheaper copy, you can get through Kinguin, it is considerably more cheaper, so let's check the link on the description of the video and confirm what lower the price it is comparing to Steam and see if it is worth it or not for you. Alright, so guys, that's all, thank you a lot for watching, that will see you soon, goodbye. demons doing in a city like this?
like I'm gonna make it there before you do, V. to stop me. Oh, whatever shall I do? Huh. Yeah, I can make this one. seem like a demon to me. Wait, which way did I come from again? again. That was the floor's fault, not mine. Yeah. 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 